Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how to create a glowing outline in DaVinci Resolve Fusion. This is the result and we will be using only a few notes so don't feel intimidated, I'm sure you can do it. Also I would like to thank you for donating to my YouTube channel and subscribing to my mailing list. If you haven't done it yet, you can find all links below my videos. Let's start! And this is my clip. I traditionally got it from Artgrid. And in this case, I want to create the outline around the dancer. So I'm going to use Magic Mask in DaVinci Resolve Studio and I will separate the dancer from the background. If you don't have DaVinci Resolve Studio, you would have to do rotoscoping manually. So this is a big disadvantage of not having the studio version, unfortunately. But let me show you how to do it with the Magic Mask quickly. So here in the Color tab, I will just click on the Magic Mask icon. And let's go to the first frame of the clip. Then I will change the quality from faster to better. This is what I always do as it gives way better results. And now I just have to draw a stroke over the object so the Magic Mask tool can recognize it and separate it from the clip. And to be able to see the selection, I can turn on the mask overlay down here and it looks perfect. Usually Resolve is very good at it. And now I just have to track the shot. I will speed it up as sometimes depending on the length of the shot and on your system, it can take a while. Okay, done. And let's scroll through the clip. Not bad, but the tool has missed a bit of the trousers right here. So I can simply draw another stroke here and I can track the shot again. Sometimes it can be a bit daunting, but it's worth it and it will still be way faster than masking out the object manually. Okay, and let's scroll through the clip. Cool, the mask looks great. Now I will only blur the edges of the mask a bit and I will denoise them so they are not too sharp. And now I will show you how to create the alpha output from it. So let's go to the node graph. And here we have to right click and select add alpha output. And then we just have to connect these two blue outputs together. And now when I turn my mask overlay here, I can see the result with no background. Perfect. Now I will show you how to export our clip with the alpha. We could just go straight to the Fusion tab with this clip, but I found that the software works a bit better when I work with the exported clip, as it's just a software, and sometimes the Magic Mask resets itself for no reason. So to be on the safe side, let's go to the Deliver tab, and I'll rename my clip here. And then when we look at the custom export settings, we can see that there is no option to export our clip with alpha. So the way to do it is to select the NXHR here. And then we can select export alpha down here. Then I'll select the location where I want to export my clip and I'll add it to the render queue and I'll export it. Okay, now we're ready to go to the edit tab. And here I already have two clips. One is the original one and the other one is the one with the magic mask applied. And we don't need this one as we will be using the exported clip instead. So I will move it here and I will right click on the original clip as I want to open it in Fusion. And I will select new Fusion clip. And now we can simply move to the Fusion tab and here we will have our basic composition. So media in is our original clip and media out is the output and we can see the output already in the viewer. And now let's also bring in here the clip with no background. So I'll just open the finder and I'll drag and drop the clip into the node graph. And let's place it in the right viewer. Basically it's the same clip, but the one with the background and the one without it. And let's rename our nodes so we don't get confused. So this one will be my alpha. And this will be the original. And now when I have my original clip selected, I can just hit shift space to bring up the tools and I'll search for the merge node. 
and now I'll connect the alpha clip with the merge node with the green arrow so it's on the foreground. Then I'll highlight the alpha clip as I want to add the soft glow after this node and I'll bring up the tools again and I'll search for the soft glow and this is what we've got. The soft glow has been applied on the alpha clip but it has been applied on the top of it and we want to place it behind it as an outline. So the first thing we have to do is to go to our notes and to connect the alpha clip with the alpha input of the soft glow like this. Then we have to select soft glow and let's open the inspector up here. And now let's go to settings and let's select apply mask inverted. And let's scroll through the clip. So we already have here our glowing outline, but we can obviously modify it. So let's go to controls and here we can increase the gain like this. Then we can decrease the blend if it's too strong. We can also increase the glow size. So have fun with it. I won't give you any exact values as every clip is different and you may want to get different results than I want to. So now, for example, we've got something like this. And then we can make the outline a bit thinner. Like this. Now we can also change the color of the outline, disabling different color channels, like this. And we can also use the color scale here to manipulate the colors more, like this. Okay, but I will undo it again. And now I also want to show you one more cool effect that we can apply, which is fast noise. So let's hit shift space again and let's search for the fast noise. And now we can connect it with the merge node, like this. And here in the inspector, I want you to play around with these sliders again. So we can increase the scale, for example, the angle, the contrast, and the brightness as well. It's all about trial and error. So now it looks a bit more like a smoke effect around the dancer. And we can always go back to the soft glow and change the settings here as well to achieve different results. So I really encourage you to play around with it. But now let's see my final result full screen. Thank you so much for watching my videos, guys. I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.